To the untrained eye, this may look like a pile of metal and wires. But to the Rucker students who've known this machine, since it was a twinkle in its designer's eye, the so-called R411 is a thing of beauty. We manufacture uh, about 75 to 80 percent of this uh, car. Um, this is Umar Salik. He's the president of the Rutgers Formula Racing Club. That's not a fan club for people who love watching the Indy 500. It's a group of exceptionally dedicated undergrads, most of them engineering majors, who every year build a professional race car from scratch. I'm making a shift lever. So this is the part that will actually um, shift the gears on the engine. Uh, this is going to be one of the steering arms. Uh, it'll bolt to the upright, which holds the wheel. This is high precision work, and you don't learn it in a classroom. Club members are on their own, searching the internet and consulting industry professionals, many of them club alumni. There's a lot of trial and error. Class is theory, and a lot of that theory isn't practical. <laughs> Uh, and there's something, there's like you do something in a book and yeah, it works out fine, but when you get out of the real world, it doesn't really work. It's kind of totally separate from class. I mean, we, we learn stuff in class that helps here, but it's totally on our own, on our own free time and everything. I'm just going to pause here for a second to give you an idea of what these guys mean when they say our own free time. Uh, you're here during the winter, you're here during spring break. Well, most of our friends are going to the Bahamas. If you're a senior, yeah, hey, yeah, no where are you going? I'm going to the shop. You know, Actually, I timed myself, and it was 83 hours a week in addition to class and uh, just regular breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or just just dinner. It takes a certain kind of undergrad to thrive in this club. If you're looking for instant gratification, keep walking. People who are really into cars, who love you know, the Fast and the Furious, they don't stick around. It's the people who really want to learn, and it do doesn't matter how late they stay up. Oh, I'm going to lose a couple hours of sleep, but I'm going to learn. You know. But for the diligent, the patient, there is payoff. The students race the cars at national competitions over the summer. And this year, for the first time in 20 years, the car was unveiled at the New York International Auto Show. Alumni from car teams past stopped in to see the 2011 model, providing opportunity for generations of club members to geek out in exchanges like this. So there's a servo motor that connects to your Arduino microcontroller. The microcontroller gets a signal from the Tech GT, which is the ECU. Oh, yeah. It's only days before the team takes the car out for its first spin. So what does it feel like? The first time you get in one of these cars, you think you're going 100 miles an hour and you get out and they tell you you're going five miles an hour. Zero to 60 in, in 3.5 seconds, you're turning corners of 1.5 Gs. It's unlike anything you've ever driven before. It's, it's really fast and fa fast is fun, so. 